Daily Show, my guest today, first, Paul Hollis, author of the Hollow Man series and owner of many companies. Paul, how are you? Know, excited about our guest today. I am excited. Hi, Neil. Uh, we have a, a wonderful guest today, a new Regency romance author, Mina Valentine, and she's going to tell us all about her first book that's coming out in just a few weeks. Yes. Exciting, Mina. Isn't it exciting that your book's coming out? Yes. Very excited about it. All right. So let's talk about characters today. How do you approach creating authentic and relatable characters in your romance novels? Well, for contemporary romance, it's pretty easy because they're living the time. For, for historical romance, I place mine in England, so I have to know the plants, the animals, the street names, the housing, the lingo. And I think essentially what comes down to authentication is the depth of the characters. If they are relatable, if people can look at them and go, oh yeah, I know someone like that, or I wish I knew someone like that, that makes a difference. It all I think it uh, I uh, totally. I, I think it totally does. And there's a lot of work you have to approach in historical romance, don't no you? No kidding. <laughs> yes, a lot. Tell me how much research it takes to just write one book. If I'm writing a book about pirates, which I did in that century, I had to do a ton of research on them where they were, what their routes were, what they stole, their lingo. And then I, if for the English characters, where did they live? What did they eat? What was the fauna? What was the flora? Did they have tenants? What did tenants do? How did they contribute to the person? There is the next video we do together, I should have you in my library because <laughs> you'll have a stroke at all the stuff that I have. Every little piece that I write about, even if it's what the horse they rode, I need to know what kind of horses they had. That's yeah. crazy. I couldn't take that time and do that. And it's a lot of work. And that's what makes a, a, a writer really why no one writes books yeah. is <laughs> when they decide to tackle something like you're tackling, you, you put your academic background on, you put mm -hmm. your romance hat on, and you put your creative hat on and put them all together. And it's a process to finally crank out a book. It is. I love research, though. I have that double PhD and two masters, so I'm pretty used to research. I, I love it. I like learning new things. Yes, and that's another thing that makes it very interesting is you can really put that lens of what romance excites you. Because you decided to write romance because it excites you reading other people's romance books, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, there's some writers uh, out there that are phenomenal. I've been reading those since I was about 11 <laughs> without my mother's knowledge. <laughs> Which has yeah. made you have a really interesting life, Mina, hasn't it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> And I think that's the thing about romance is it gives you this hope that there's going to be a happily ever after, which you talked about. When you look, what writers do you emulate that are not romance, but are more historical writers that you like to take some of your work from? Because it seems like oh you're a God. huge reader. Uh, I can't give you, I have laying on the floor right here that I've been using for the book I'm writing now. I probably have 25 books on the floor. I'm in the I'm in the dining room on my dining room table, so <laughs> I've taken over the dining room. But in the library, uh, there's just stacks of books, stacks. Mina, it's exciting. People can first the thing they need to do before the book even comes out is follow you on social media at Mina Valentine. Uh, many platforms, more content to come. Follow her on X and all those different platforms. We appreciate it, Mina, and it'll be in the show notes for the podcast and soon your website will be up. So lots of new yeah. things coming in the series. And if people have questions, tell them to feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to talk to them. All right. Awesome. You're listening and watching the Neil Haley show. We'll be back in just a moment.